Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Inshallah, uh, you just want to quickly share a tip on about this two uh, verses. This one is walaqad and this is laqad. A'udhu billahi min shaitan rajim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Rabbana zidna ilma. Um, so this one, walaqad, is ayah number 12. This is ayah number 17 of al-ma'idah. It's laqad. Walaqad, why is it wa? Why this one doesn't? Because here it's talking about, the way, the way I see it, here it's talking about the mithaq of uh, Bani Israel with their prophets. But it was already mentioned here. Allah already mentioned here. وَذْكُرُوا نِعْمَةَ اللَّهِ عَلَيْكُمْ وَمِثَاقَهُ الَّذِي وَتَقَقُمْ So, you made an oath. You had a covenant with Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And they also did. And, so, and, وَلَقَدْ So, that's how I see it. Um, and, and this is called comparison, right? They were being compared... Um, the Prophet Muhammad said, um, the people who took a pledge, the 12 tribes, they're being compared to Bani Israel. They, you had 12 and they had 12 too. Because here, in Husna Thay Ashara Naqiba, right? And here, Laqad, because there's no mention about um, about the Nasara calling Jesus as God. No, um, so, so, that's why um, there's no wa. So it's only the first time here in the surah. I'm not saying in the whole Quran. Here in the surah, this is the first time. So, laqad. Laqad al-kafar al-ladhina qalu inna waha wal masihum ibn maryam. So, that's how I um, remember it. Inshallah, you found this helpful. Jazakumullah khairun for watching. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.